If you're in the restaurant industry and depend on tips, you obviously know the importance of customer service. And the amount of tips depend on not necessarily the basics here of just delivering your food and doing it timely, but it has a lot more to do than that. So here to talk about it is author David Hayden. He's here to talk about his new book called Tip Squared, Tips for Improving Your Tips. And here it is. He's a local guy. He's been in the service industry for 16 years. Is that correct? That's absolutely. Yeah, currently at uh, Majestic? Yeah, the Majestic Restaurant in Ninth and Broadway. Okay, what led to you writing this book? Well, I know there were a lot of things that I learned over the years um, from watching other servers, and I realized that I didn't see them happening as much when I went out to eat. There's not a lot of mentorship around anymore, and there's not a lot of people teaching these advanced skills. And so I decided that since I had the experience, I might as well be the person to kind of show some of the things that I've learned over the years and give something back to the service industry. You had mentioned that this book, even though it says tip squared, is not necessarily about tips. It's about customer service. Explain. Well, tips are the result of giving someone an exceptional customer service experience. See, we're in a unique industry where it's not all about selling the guests as much as you can because at the end of the day, the guest in turn determines your commission rate per se. They determine how much they tip you. But what makes it excellent? There are a lot of great waiters and waitresses out mm -hmm. there, but how do they up their game? Well, you up your game by understanding that not everybody is looking for the same service experience. The experience that you look for in a restaurant might be different than what I'm looking for. What this book shows you is how to determine what your guest is looking for and then how to deliver that in a way that they're going to appreciate. So what do you do? Sit down with them and say, so, you guys ready to party tonight or are you looking for a serious, uh, you know, date night? There are, there are cues that you can read. Um, from the guests that are sitting at the table, depending on how they're dressed, their posture, uh, yeah. depending on how they react to some initial lines that I use in the book about how to greet tables that allow you to determine from there what it is that they're looking for. Yeah, and the type of waiter or waitress that you'll be. Yes. Yeah, so you're almost like a chameleon. You, you need to provide them the experience that they're looking for, not the experience that you came there to give. Uh, what happens when you're so busy? You have so many tables. I mean, it's hard to give good customer service at that time. Sure. There are very key uh, issues that you need to prioritize according to, um, things that you need to understand about what priority should exist. And the book talks about how to how to understand what's more important at any given moment to the guest experience. Have you upped your game and noticed uh, by doing that you, you get pretty good tips? I, I feel confident that this book will uh, improve a server's tips because it improved my tips. You know, I knew the information on write, you know, when I wrote it, sure. but upon writing it and then reviewing it and editing it and rewriting it, each time I found myself re-emphasizing things that I might have let slip a little bit. Yeah. And I know that it certainly increased the service that I give my guests. You spend uh, some time here just talking about being optimistic mm -hmm. um, about a lot of things. But I'm telling you, there probably are some customers out there who you would rather not serve. <laughs> you would rather see somewhere else. How do you stay optimistic when you have such terrible customers, ones that you know are curmudgeons? Well, being a server requires you to be optimistic. Here in Missouri, you make $3.63 cents an hour. Is that's all your, it. That's all you're guaranteed when you walk in the door. Yeah. You have to have a bit of optimism and maybe a little bit of a gambler streak to take this job. But at that point, you determine that whether or not you make money and how much money you make is really dependent upon your attitude. If you decide that it's going to be a terrible night, that's probably what's going to happen. Uh -huh. But if you decide it's going to be a good night, you have the opportunity for it to become so. You can actually use that in life as well. I mean, it's a lesson for all of us. All right, so um, selling the specialty, um, you give people tips on that. How do you do it? Sure, some restaurants have an item that is just, they're so well known for, mm -hmm. that they, that's just it's such immediate. a part of the restaurant, yeah. that you just have to mention it and just let people know that this is kind of what people do. You know, people kind of, people want that when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Sure. They want to fall in and, and, you know, have what's popular, have what's out there. And you just have to mention it. Yeah. You just have to, you just have to let them know it's out there. Okay. Selling food is, is, is not so much an issue, it's not like selling cars. Mm -hmm. Rather, it's like telling someone about a great book or a great CD that you heard, and you just recommend it to them. I don't sell food, I just tell people what's good based upon the yeah. hundreds of guest feedback that I've received and having tasted it myself. There you go. So, if you want to take a look at uh, David's book, uh, it's called Tip Squared, Tips for Improving Your Tips. There are a couple places that you can go to. You can go to hospitalityformula.com, that's uh, his blog. You can also go to Tips2, the number two, Tips2 book. Dot com. David, thanks, man, for sharing uh, your insight here. Uh, 16 years in the industry, and he's not a consultant. He's actually still in, you know, in the business. You're still out there serving, so he's basing it on his experience. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Okay. We'll be